This December period, one of the ways to easily buy somebody is to become good Samaritan that does not know road. What do I mean? You just want to chill, but problem will find you coming. It is not every hospital that you send emergency victim to, especially accident emergencies. Okay, thank you very much, sir. So what we do is, ah, see accident though, this person don't knock it for ground. Let's rush them to the nearby hospital. And the nearby hospital is probably a clinic. It's actually very painful. Yeah, I don't know. They will waste your time. They will refer you to another hospital. That time that you spent rushing them to that hospital, and rushing them back to the nearest other hospital is a waste of time and may probably contribute to that person's death. Can you imagine? There are different levels of hospitals. There's level 1, for example, the teaching hospitals or very top private hospitals that have most of the machines and tests that will probably be needed to save that person's life and even the person dead. So, Emeka and Nkechi, I know it's not our fault, but we are living in a country where we are now doing many things by ourselves. So, one of the things you should do is what is the level of emergency? If, for instance, the person has a head injury, the person has a chest injury, the person is bleeding profoundly, Usually, or the person is unconscious or pretty abnormally, you don't send the person to a nearby hospital. You send them to a level one trauma center, which is either a teaching hospital where you are, or any top private hospital that has the manpower and the tests that you need. And that hospital has to be the closest one necessary. <sighs> but aside from that, you've decided where to send the person to. You've done CPR. You've done the first aid that you can that have been teaching you. Next problem. It's now traffic. <laughs> 